Welcome to You on the Spot. I'm Amy and this is where we put you on the spot to make a not so everyday decision. For the last You on the Spot scenario, I asked you what you would do if you saw your ex about ready to eat food that fell on the floor. Danny the Dynamo said, I would laugh the whole time and pretend nothing happened. Then afterwards, I would tell him, he has after all not paid child support. I think he deserves to eat food off the floor. Mouse48861 said, I'd let my ex know that the food was dropped on the floor. I don't care how bad the relationship ended. To let her eat the dirty food is just too gross to watch. Then I would leave the restaurant because I'd be thinking that they did something to my food for snitching. Barbecue Boss TV said, I would be like, hold up, baby. I would ask the waitress if she would mind sampling the food before my ex ate it and put that woman on the spot. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, here are some things that have happened to me and most of the people I know at least once. Someone you vaguely know is walking in front of you. See, maintain distance. How about when you go to say hi to someone and it comes out as a whisper? Or there's a little bubble in your throat and it sounds really funny. Or when you eavesdrop on a stranger's conversation and you laugh out loud at the funny part. Or when you realize you're walking the wrong way, stop, pretend to check the time, and then walk in the right direction. Have you ever been walking to your car alone and another car is slowly driving up next to you? Well, here are reasons why that van is creeping up next to you. 3% of the time, they're trying to find the right address. Another 3% of the time, they're trying to find a place to park. 47% of the time, drive by. Another 47%, kidnapping. Have you ever been caught staring at someone? Well, here are reasons why I'm staring at you. 20% of the time, you have something on your face. 3% of the time, I'm fantasizing about you. And 77% of the time, you happen to be occupying the space I'm staring blankly into while I'm thinking about something totally unrelated to you. And now it's time to put you on the spot. We like to bring you crazy real life scenarios here on You on the Spot, but every once in a while we like to make it a little more interesting. See how you'll handle it. We've all watched zombie movies, played zombie video games, zombie apocalypse, and you're checking out Twitter, your Facebook, and you happen to see more and more posts about people apparently dying and then coming back to life and attacking the living. And then a friend calls you, tells you to get out of your house because the town is overrun with zombies. I'm putting you on the spot. Who's next on your phone tree? What do you do? Tell us your thoughts on what you did to survive in the comments section below. As always, I will feature some of my favorite comments on the next show. Click the like button, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter so you can answer the daily You on the Spot dilemma. Submit your scenarios to youonthespot at hotmail.com. I'm Amy, and this is You on the Spot. Amy, this is you on the spot. Okay, I did the best. <laughs> <laughs>